Received by Judith Kusel you are on planetary levels now going through a total dismantling of the old paradigm, but in an escalated scale. The Intergalactic Federation has decided to increase the ascension acceleration, as all those souls who were involved with this process are now fully awake and they are now literally paving the way for the new humanity, in the new light body form, and all are, like you, asked to lay down the foundations of the new golden age. With this the dormant energy centers and dormant extraterrestrial technology, which was stored in many places in the earth, and in sacred sites, are now being fully activated and will start to make their presence felt, even as they are programmed to now lift off, like a spacecraft and merge with the new earth, as was master planned millions of earth years ago. It is so that those souls whose divine imprint has merged with that time, consciousness merging, will now awaken in much higher measures, and they will then be able, through accelerated shifts and accelerated consciousness shifts, to not only assist with the process of anchoring in these technologies and knowledge into the new earth, but will be the custodians and forerunners of such, as has happened when Atlantis fell, and the high priesthood of Atlantis dispersed beforehand over the earth, to hold the knowledge sacred. Yet, this goes back to the time of Lemuria, Avalon, the Lion Kingdom and Elysium. During this time, it is vital to understand that all is dissolving of the old structures and forms on all levels of society as well as technology, agriculture, eco-management, health services etc. as all will collapse of the old, and only those methods will remain which are life-giving, life-enhancing, and work energetically towards a great holistic way of life, simple and true. It is the return of the deep respect for Lady Gaia and the New Earth, and working with her, and there will be no need to strip her of any resources, nor to destroy and damage. Humans will communicate with animals, birds, insects, trees, plants, seeds etc. and work with them as one. With great love. They will communicate with the elementals and work with them and communities of light will be norm, where everyone's unique talents, gifts and abilities, serve within the greater community and where all work together as one. For now there will be unity, and harmony, as souls will finally understand, that no one is greater or more than any other, and that everyone is or her own uniqueness to live out and share with the greater whole with love. There will be leaders yes, but these leaders will have served the community, with great wisdom and there will be mutual respect, as leaders will be chosen for their wisdom, their loving service and their ability to be visionaries who lead the people to ever higher degrees of unity and oneness. When all work together as one there will be only the desire to lovingly live every single moment of one's life with joy, in joy, and to see or create beauty in all its forms and expressions and harmoniously so. To honor the soul in one another, and to live soul-empowered lives. To adhere to the universal divine laws and see or create within them. The temples will rise again, the sacred healing places, and vibrant, radiant health will be the norm and when anyone is out of sync for even a second, immediately the holistic healers will be able to energetically and with great love heal these. There will be temples of sound, temples of love, temples of light, temples of joy, temples of beauty and harmony, temples of celebration of life, as much as the sacred groves will be re-established the sacred temples of nature and the sacred temples of knowledge, both esoteric and universal. Note that this is vast transition from the lowest forms of life and life expression in the highest and many souls, once fully anchored in the fifth are already choosing to ascend into the original seventh. Thus from 2024, huge changes will occur in all forms of life, as animals, birds, insects, and all life and life forms are already ascending into the new earth and a lot of the seeming extinct species are being reintroduced and new species from other galaxies and star systems. The waters will be crystal clear again, the air, the fires and the earth. There will be crystal abodes, where the liquid crystals are then transformed into building material and as this manifests into more solid form, their buildings will exude huge energy and indeed will amplify consciousness levels and allow multidimensionality to prosper. Teleportation and bilocation will become the norm, as telepathy becomes the norm. 
computers etc. will not be necessary anymore and the new humanity will be able to access information and knowledge directly from the universal energy fields which holds all information and such information will be downloaded directly into the higher mind and higher heart, so that it can be applied instantly. Teaching methods will be to lovingly guide the student to apply their innate soul genius with great love, and to access ever higher degrees of knowledge through the same knowledge. 2024 is a catalyst year and thus it affects dramatic changes in all life and life forms and indeed a huge acceleration of consciousness levels and access to multidimensionality in all forms of life and living. At this moment the Universal Councils and the Intergalactic Federation and Councils are all overlooking the process of not only the planetary ascension, the new Earth and new Golden Age, but simultaneously the new Solar System, Milky Way Galaxy and the Universe and Counter Systems. The new is birthed on all levels as the Universe now is lifted into the new creation.